Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Spectrum Classes. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the concept of optical purity and enantiomeric axis. As the name suggests, optical purity means optical activity or the enantiomeric axis. Both are terms which we have heard in the organic chemistry are related to the chiral molecule. Numericals based on these two concepts have also been asked in the competitive exams like CSI or NET and from that point of view also these two concepts are very important. Here in this video we have discussed two three different type of problems based on these two concepts. So let's start with the optical purity. So Optical purity means optical activity. First, we will discuss the optical activity of a given organic compound means the compound is chiral itself. The compound is capable to rotate the plane polarized light either towards the right hand side or in the left hand side. So, if it is capable to rotate the plane polarized light towards the right hand side, that is termed as dextrorotatory and that is represented by a small d and the sign of the rotation is represented by the plus if it is capable to rotate this plane polarized light in the left hand side then it is represented by small l and the sign of the rotation is represented by minus sign this is anti clockwise rotation and this is clockwise rotation okay so please do not confuse if we are having a optically pure compound so optically pure compound means that compound is capable either to, to rotate the plane polarized light in the positive direction or negative direction. But if we are having a mixture of compound, mixture of both in enantiomers like dextrorotatory and levorotatory, then the observed rotation is less than the pure compound. So here, this is the specific rotation which is for the mixture. This is the observed specific rotation for a mixture and this is, this is a specific rotation for the pure compound. So, in this way, we can one can determine the optical purity of a given compound by their specific rotations, okay. And if we want to determine the percentage optical purity, then it is determined by, it is multiplied by 100. The next term is enantiomeric axis and this enantiomeric axis is represented in terms of R and S. Since the absolute configuration of this dextrorotatory and levorotatory compounds is given by the RS configuration. So, here please do not confuse with sine or dextrorotatory, levorotatory with RS. RS doesn't relates with this D or plus sign or L or minus sign. This is just the absolute configuration of a given compound in terms of RS configuration. So, we are not talking about the dextro or levorotatory, okay, when we are talking about the RS. So, here enantiomeric axis means we are having a mixture of R plus S. If these two are in 1 is to 1 ratio, then that is called racemic mixture. Racemic mixture. And this is optically inactive. But if any of the enantiomer is in axis, then the mixture is capable to rotate the plane polarized light either in the plus direction or in the minus direction. That depends on the property of the molecule, not on the R and S configuration, right? So, the enantiomeric axis can also be determined by having the percentage of R and S present in the given mixture or it is most of the time represented by the enantiomeric axis. R and S represents the mole fractions of R and S respectively. So, here R plus S or the mole fraction of R and S in enantiomers is equal to 1. So, here in enantiomeric axis is equal to R, either the R is higher or the S is higher. Whichever is high, we will get the difference only. We are able to determine the R plus S is equal to 1. If we are able to determine the R or S, then one can determine the other in enantiomer. By this relationship, S is equal to 1 minus R or R is equal to 1 minus S. Here is a numerical problem. After solving this, you will get the concepts which we have discussed earlier. The problem is the specific rotation of R, which is negative, right? Here R so, that is why I told you earlier that R doesn't relate with the sign. Here it is negative. So, R2-bromooctane is 
माइनस थर्टी सिक्स डिग्री वॉट इज द परसेंटेज कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ ए मिक्सचर ऑफ इन एंशोमर्स ऑफ टू ब्रोमो ऑक्टेन हुज रोटेशन इज प्लस एटीन सो आर यू गेटिंग सो दिस इज द प्योर फॉर्म प्योर इन एंशोमर आर आर एंड दिस इज द एल्फा विच इज ए मैक्सिमम फॉर ए प्योर कंपाउंड इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्री राइट एंड दिस इज द फॉर द मिक्सचर mixture it is plus 80 so here the point which needs to be remember that for r we are having minus 36 so which kind of enantiomer is added to this to get this plus so we need to add s type of enantiomer which rotate it in the positive direction okay so here s compound is present in the Two bromo mixture of two bromo octane. So here this is very important. So here you need to remember this. Which kind of enantiomer is need to be added? Now we will get we will calculate by this equation. So optical purity is equal to specific rotation observed. So observed is this one plus eighteen and maximum for the pure enantiomer multiplied by hundred. So putting all these values into this equation, we get. This is fifty percent plus S. So here S in enantiomer is in excess, so it is fifty percent. S in the mixture is fifty percent. Okay. Now the racemic mixture is equal to percentage of R plus percentage of S. Racemic mixture, like rest of the mixture is having racemic. So this is in enantiomer optically pure. This is optically pure means fifty percent is pure and fifty percent is racemic. Racemic, right? So out of these two, racemic means one is to one ratio of R and S. So out of this fifty percent, twenty five percent of R is there, twenty five percent of S is there. Since in the mixture we are having fifty percent S, therefore we are having we are having this S is equal to fifty plus twenty five. Okay, so seventy five percent and R is equal to twenty five percent. So in this way you can pause this and you can solve this problem by yourself then you will understand it in a better manner the next problem is based on the enantiomeric axis so here the chromatographic purification of 1 g of minus ethyl lactate with an enantiomeric axis 85% yields without any loss of material the optically pure enantiomer how many grams of the plus enantiomer were separated so here how much plus enantiomer were separated has been asked so enantiomeric axis is given it means we have to apply this here enantiomeric axis is given so r and s only represents the absolute configuration of the given compounds it doesn't means whether it is dextro rotatory right here this is the levo rotatory ethyl lactate and we just simply put All the values in the given equation, we know R plus S is equal to one. So we here we can put this X and minus one minus X here. Solving we will get X is equal to one point eight five divided by two. Now X is equal to this much grams. Okay, X is equal to this much grams. If we multiply it by thousand, then we will get nine twenty five milligrams. And if we want to calculate the percentage axis, then we have to multiply this value by hundred. So we will get ninety two point five percent of X. X is my R, or uh, I like it, right? Now, if we want to calculate the S, so S will be my one minus X from the equation. And as I have already calculated the value of X, then I can calculate from here that S is equal to My S is equal to one minus X, and this is equal to zero point zero seven five grams is equal to seventy five milligrams, or it can be equal to if we multiply it this one by hundred, then we will get this percent of S in enantiomer, right? S or positive enantiomer. So positive enantiomer or the plus enantiomer is. 7.5 percent, right? So this is one way how one can calculate, and I have also solved the alternate. So if we have the enantiomeric axis, and then we can apply this formula after solving, as we have done in our previous slide. By solving this, 
so we can generalize a formula if this kind of uh, question numerical problem is there then one can determine the r or s by enantiomeric excess plus 1 divided by 2 the second one one can calculate by 1 minus we will get 1 minus enantiomeric excess divided by 2 so these are the two formula to determine the r or s enantiomers present in a given mixture so here we can one can calculate as we calculated in the previous slide so this is the alternative method through which one can determine the enantiomeric axis for a given mixture so here r is this much and s is this much like formula so one can apply this also to calculate the enantiom pure forms of enantiomers present in a given mixture the next problem is uh, this is somewhat different and uh, this is given a solution prepared by mixing of this of R enantiomer, right? This milli, this ml, 10 ml of 0 0.10 molar solution of R enantiomer and 30 ml of 0 0.10 molar solution of N enantiomer. S enantiomer. Specific rotation this. What is the specific rotation of each of the enantiomer? This is, this has been asked, okay? So, how we have prepared the mixture? So, first we will prepare the mixture. So, here R in enantiomer is equal to 10 ml into 0 0.10 molar solution equal to 1 millimole. Okay, S is equal to 30 ml into 0 0.10 molar is equal to 3 millimoles. Okay, calculate the enantiomeric axis. So, how we are going to calculate the enantiomeric axis in a given mixture? Since we are having S in enantiomer 3 millimoles and R in enantiomer 1 millimole. So, 3 minus 1. So, S is in the axis. Okay, so in this way, one we can determine. So, uh, 3 minus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 0 0.5 percent of enantiomer S. 50 percent of enantiomer S is in excess and the rest of the 50 percent is our racemic mixture. So, out of that 50 percent, 25 is added to this. 25 is S, 25 is R. So, we can add that over here. So, 75 percent of S enantiomer like as we have done over here so this alternative method i have used here so s is my enantiomer now enantiomeric axis so s is equal to 1 plus enantiomeric axis divided by two. this is my 75 percent and only i can apply this formula only if i come to know about the enantiomeric axis so first of all you have to calculate the enantiomeric axis that can be done by s is in axis so enantiomeric axis has been calculated and we can apply this formula for s and this for r or otherwise we can do it by the simple uh, calculations right so this s enantiomer is 75 and r enantiomer is 25 percent in the given mixture okay now the optical purity because a specific rotation has been asked so to calculate the specific rotation for each enantiomer so uh, the optical rotation for the mixture compound is given over here so this is the optical purity percentage optical purity here i forward to uh, right this is percentage optical purity so this is my 50 percent pure s enantiomer and i got this specific rotation for the mixture and i have to calculate so in this way one can determine the alpha so here alpha is equal to this alpha is plus 9.6 so as i told you earlier this is for the s okay since s is in the axis so this is for s pure s this is for pure s so pure r will have the opposite of this so, alpha for pure R is minus 9.6 degrees. So, I hope you understand these concepts. And if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you all.